Hey everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 42 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, this episode shall be the finale, and I'll be playing as Lushun of Wu. So, let's get started. In 222 AD, the Wu forces led by Lushun used a fire attack to incinerate the Shu army camp at Yiling. The battle ended in a decisive victory for Wu, and Liu Bei was forced to flee into Baidi Castle. Liu Shun rode the waves of momentum and pursued Liu Bei to the west, but at Yufu Bei, he felt an ominous presence. Zhuge Liang, in a final attempt to destroy the Wu forces, had constructed the Stone Sentinel Maze. Fully aware that he was walking into Zhuge Liang's trap, Liu Shun marched into the Stone Sentinel Maze. Will Liu Shun finally surpass the genius of the Master Strategist? Well, he's got no restrictions, so he can sure as hell try. Alright, so this weapon is Raptor, and look at that blade. I mean, just look at the handle itself. It looks so awesome. So it's a level 14 Tiger Amulet, level 20 Speed Scroll, level 17 Wing Boots, and level 11 Cavalry Armor. So a nice bit of offense, and allows Lu Shun to be very mobile and agile in battle. Alright, so let me take off this Tiger Amulet, because I don't really need the extra 6 levels. Uh, speed scroll may not be worth it either. So I think I'll go with... Let's go with 7 star sash this time. Just increase my luck a little bit more and get more item drops. Alright, so basically your objective is to defeat Zhuge Liang. And if, well, you get slain, you lose. To get the weapon, you have to make sure you never get lost in the maze. And defeat any officer you come across. Sentinel maze cannot be easily cleared. I'm aware it is a trap, but we must continue on if we were to vanquish Shu. Alright, so this path I'm taking right here, I highly recommend. And make sure you remember this path because you will be going the same path in reverse later on. Ha! The device has activated! <laughs> so just keep going around this little path, and when devices activate, Pay attention to where you see those blips, because you will be going towards them shortly. Oh, the Sentinels are moving again. Oh no! We've been trapped inside! Okay, that takes care of all the enemies. Oh, the Sentinels are moving again. It's an ambush! Right, for this, make sure you clear out that ambush force. How the hell did you guys come from there? Did you, like, go through the walls? I know there's a glitch where if you're riding Shadow Harness, you can actually flip through the doors of the maze. I've never tried it, but I've seen it done online. But you guys aren't riding a horse. That's crazy. Do you have any Pokemon that I don't know about that's causing you to climb these mountains? I really need to get back and like Pokemon Y. At the time I'm recording this, I got at least five badges. So I'm actually doing pretty well. Thank you, Pokemon Bank. But now I gotta clear out a lot of rooms because my boxes are filling up. But at least Wonder Trade is so awesome for that. Most of the time. Most of the times I'm just getting doubles of what I don't need. Okay, so I gotta go around this little bend. You basically gotta head back exactly where you started. Only this time, I think you gotta go south next. So I'll definitely be doing that. Okay, so I gotta go north again. And this time I gotta go west. So I'm gonna go south. Take out this ambush force. To obliterate the defense force, just take out the guard, Captain. That's literally all you need to do. Some of these forces will actually just run away afterwards. Oh, is it this way I gotta go? I don't remember, but I think I gotta go over here. Oh no! We've been trapped inside! Oh, Sentinels are moving again. Ambush party. Strike. 
Let me take out his ambush party next. Led by Chen Shu. And then Zhang Bao is coming as well from the south. So I guess to like get through, you do have to defeat the officers. And having a Tiger Amulet only at level 14 is no big deal. The weapon itself is already pretty devastating, so you don't need those extra levels that badly. There, I didn't need the health, but my bodyguards definitely needed some boost. Alright, let's just clear out these enemies first before we move on. After a while, Zhao Yun will show up, and he's pretty tough. Like, if you're trying to get the weapon, his final charge can almost kill you. I don't really like Lu Xun's uh, final charge. Unless you got only one enemy to fight. Alright, looks like we can head back through here. Nope, nope, we gotta go around the same way that we usually take. Remember, if you linger for too long, you will get the message saying that you're lost. And if you get lost even once, you don't get the weapon. So it's usually a good idea to make some interim saves in case you're not sure where to go. Alright, now we can go this way. You shall not pass! Come forth. Okay, first let me deal with Guan Xing before Zhao Yun arrives. Actually, Lu Xun's uh, six charge is not that bad because it goes like in a Y formation. If you've got troops just about to flank you diagonally, that charge is pretty awesome. You're not that bad either, Zhao Yun. Oh, actually deadlocked me. Wow! Just tore that guy a new butthole! Wang Chang Yuan? That's Yue Ying's father! Why is he here and is actually showing up as an ally in this? Whatever it is, I better go to him. Please. Follow me. Why D Castle is just through here. Uh, if there is a reason I hate your in-laws, you. this is one of you them. Saved us. Impressive as usual, Master Leon. This has been educational. Now it is my turn. I shall hold nothing back. I noticed those blades have a curve. That's even stronger. We could not buy as much time as I hoped. I suppose I will have to deal with you. Myself. Yep, you got no choice, Zhuge Liang. All right, so you're the last officer I face before this let's play is over, Zhuge Liang. So let's duke it out. Ironically, when I finished Dynasty Warriors 4, this was the officer I had to protect, and he kept putting himself in dangerous situations just to be a dick to me. This is payback for all this trouble in the Nanmon campaign. There. It appears I have met my destiny. And there you go. That's the last battle of this let's play. A backflips. That went reasonably well, like, the mission itself probably only took six or seven minutes? Yeah, six and a half. I literally had no problems, but then again, since I played through this level a couple times, I knew what path I had to take. Alright, so enjoy the ending for Lu Xun, everyone! Wu Officer, born in the Wu Territory. Born into an influential family, Lu Xun showed great skill and promise from a young age, and after successfully repelling several barbarian invasions, he was recruited by Sun Quan. Lu Xun was assigned to defend Wu's territory in Jing, whereupon he defeated the great Shu general Guan Yu. When Liu Bei came seeking vengeance for his lost brother, Lu Xun engaged him at Yiling. 
In 222 AD, after a victory at Yiling, Lu Xun pursued the fleeing Liu Bei to Yufu Bei, where he encountered Zhuge Liang's Stone Sentinel Maze. The Stone Sentinel Maze was an intricate labyrinth that a common man could never escape, but Lu Xun uses exceptional instincts to escape Zhuge Liang's trap. Lu Xun then chased Liu Bei into Baidi Castle, the Shu leader fell to illness and left all matters of state to Zhuge Liang. Shortly thereafter, a truce was formed between Wu and Shu. After these victories, Lu Xun's name became known throughout the land. Lu Xun continued to amass victories for Wu and eventually became Prime Minister of the Wu Dynasty. So a bit of a happy ending for him, and he also married Sun Tzu's daughter. But anyways, that's it. That's Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends for the Sony PlayStation 2. That's all 42 missions of Legend Mode. Again, I'd rather save Extreme Mode for Dynasty Warriors 5 in the near future. Well, probably not going to be all that near. So anyways, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.